possibly be against them? Didn't know we had a representative from the Healy Corporation. Oh, yeah. On the off chance that you're confused right now, let me catch you up. <laughs> time it takes to get to class, the administration required all students to wear Heelys. Well, off-brand Heelys. Manhattanville's not gonna pay for itself! <laughs> yeah, they announced the policy at the beginning of the semester, and since then, things have sort of devolved. <laughs> oh, also, I'm Hannah. Hey. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> At CU, they take a stand until they get defunded, hashtag marching band. But see you won't hand over the wheel. They think this school is broken, but they don't know how to heal. Hannah, where have you been? This Healy demonstration started like three hours ago. I was in class, remember? <laughs> the one you skipped. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, uh, here's your eye clicker. I made sure our answers were different so Professor Lindemann didn't see you were gone. Oh my god, Hannah, you are literally the best. Thank you. <laughs> Meant to talk about. <gasps> oh my god, you're Isabella Morales. We are obsessed with your Insta. Real talk, every single post literally got me through my parents' divorce. <laughs> this is Izzy, my best friend since the NSOP fire safety lecture. <laughs> she does everything and knows everyone. <laughs> she Woman. Seriously though, Blackwell's rated her more recognizable in Columbia than Presbo and seasonal depression. Hannah, you're uh, late. Uh, could you hold this poster for me? I've got to run back and grab the duty phone. Just RA things. <laughs> <laughs> That's Danny. Yeah, also one of my best friends. He's an RA in Carmen. He loves the idea of being an RA, but sort of has trouble putting that love into practice. <laughs> I think that's one of his residents. Danny, you slept our Connect meeting. Maybe we could talk now. I've actually been feeling pretty. Hey, Rudy, I'm talking to my friends right now. Not that you would understand. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go grab that phone. As we say in the RA community, see you later, alligator. <laughs> I see you. We feel no joy. But see you, don't care about how we feel Columbia is broken, but I know the way to heal So listen up, just shut up and listen up Stop talking, listen up, I know the way to heal Hey babe Yeah babe Hey babe Yeah babe Guess what? What babe? I love you no freaking way, that's crazy. Do you want to know why? Why? Because I love you too. What? Those two? Yeah, they're the couple who's been together since NSOP. I don't think they've ever spent a moment apart. Last week I saw the two of them sitting together in one of those green chairs by the Milstein display window. They weren't doing any work, just staring blankly at me as I walked by. It was really unnerving. I'm gonna roll over your face. Oh, 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 oh dear, Jason, are you seeing this? Madness, Stop. just madness. Oh. Hannah! Hi, Dean Marinaccio. Oh, please, Hannah, this isn't an interview. Call me Jessica Marinaccio, Dean of Undergraduate Admissions. <laughs> have you met Jason Mogan? He's one of my regional undergraduate admissions officers. Jason, this is Hannah. She's one of my student workers. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. By the way, Jessica, senior regional admissions officer, Jessica, senior. I bring in Columbia's finest Midwestern students. Students from the real heartland, the real America. I know things you coastal elites couldn't imagine. Jason, you're from Queens. Um, but really, Hannah, what is going on here? I hate to see you all so unhappy. Uh, I think everyone just has, like, weirdly strong opinions about the Heelys. Of course they do. All these kids apply with no doubt, but from the moment they get in here, they want out. All these kids just 
deserve the best. They all deserve a leader who's well versed in the Midwest. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Jason and I have some uh, things to take care of. I'll see you tomorrow at work. So listen up, just shut up and listen up. Stop talking, listen up. I know the way to you. So listen up, just shut up and listen up. Stop talking, listen up. I know the way to to take out their jewel. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Blue one. She definitely heard that. So what, I'm sure that coat is keeping her ego safe and warm. Well, I think she's in our poetry <laughs> seminar. Oh, uh, a black one and AirPods, two points. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh my God. Uh, okay, you know what? <laughs> my parents made me wear this jacket. <laughs> 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 I just can't even right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll share the points on that one. Wait, is that, is that Danny? Danny! Danny! Oh, hey. hey. What are you guys doing on the Broadway median strip? We could ask the same of you. Oh, I have the space reserved for RA-sponsored programming. Uh, first season of Young Sheldon just came out on Blu-ray, and Carmen 10 is about to go a buzzinga! Oh. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Seriously, though, can you two leave? I do have the space reserved. Yeah, you can reserve the Broadway median strip? Yeah, I'll show you the confirmation email from our advisor, Cement. Well, it doesn't look like there's anyone here yet, and we're goose spotting if you want to join. <laughs> you see any good ones? Oh, yeah, yeah, there was this one kid who had, like, this whole thing. Uh, oh, boy! I can't wait to watch Young Sheldon! Uh, hold that thought, Han. Mikey! It is 3.56 in the afternoon. I explicitly said in the group me that Sheldon time with Danny does not start until 4 o'clock p.m. Are you trying to undermine my authority? Oh, I'm sorry. My watch must be fast. Just like me in these Heelys. Whee! Ah! <laughs> yeah. My residents are just the best. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're definitely a better RA than Rod. Oh my god, remember Rod? <laughs> <laughs> I need to do my laundry. <laughs> Man, I miss John Jay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies. Why don't you roll on out? We've got the BMS reserved. Uh, I'm sorry. We have the Broadway meeting strip reserved. No, I have we this We need a space to canvas for our new organization? It's like... Well, woman, but instead of giving tampons to Barnard girls, we're ripping the wheels out of their Heelys. They can't handle the responsibility! Uh, I'm sorry, can you two misogynists get out of here? We're not sexist! I'll have you know that one of my best friends is a lesbian. Okay. A conservative lesbian. Heelys are doing great things for women. Namely, helping us get the hell away from guys like you. <laughs> Oh my god! Your Isabella Morales! We are obsessed with your Insta. And your op-ed on food insecurity. So woke. I don't know if you... This might be asking too much. Blah! Ah! Words! <laughs> what my very starstruck friend is trying to ask is, uh, <clears throat> would you want to <clears throat> uh, come back to our dorm later and, uh, uh, like... Marie Kondo, our double? Isn't that something you do for your own stuff? No, 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 no. Uh, we only want to keep items that spark joy in you. Oh, I'm, 
I'm flattered. So that's a yes? Uh, sure, just give me a sec. Take okay. all the time you need. Yeah, we need to go take down all our Phyllis Schlafly posters. What the hell is... Ow! I guess I better go. Well, me too. Well, no one showed up to my event, which means I failed both as an RA and as a person. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go sit in my room and uh, think about what I've done. Marie Kondo R double. <laughs> Did you see that? I've never been the leader. I've just sat undisturbed. These students are like Phineas, while Hannah's been their firm. My pals here are important, and they're worshipped to no end. People call Izzy Morales a god. Sidekick, I've waited to be crowned, but I know the key to turn that around. Resident of the month, all councils, resident of the month. He is all I've wanted since I was a girl to be desired, admired, my presence. Required, this school would be my oyster. And Shapiro, my girl. But all honoraries must always be chosen, like Moses from Torah or Elsa from Frozen. You have to be royalty in line to be queen. But how could I win it? I'm just I've always been the sidekick, I've waited to be crowned, but I know the key to turn that around. Resident of the month, I'd never be resident of the month who'd recommend me. They'd have a better choice, but if they took a chance on me, they'd see all that I could be. They'd revere me. My voice. Oh, just imagine. Hannah deserves your name. She's Hannah. Join us and let's be a couple. You're Hannah. Please overshadow my fame. Is he put our friendship? Be the same. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Oh! Oh! Why? <laughs> I've always been the sidekick, I've waited to be crowned, but I know the key to turn that around. Yeah, you bet she knows the key. Resident bow, of bow, the month. Bow, All council's a resident bow, of bow, the month. Reporting live from the Broadway Median Strip, I'm Alexis Aston from the Columbia Daily Spectator. Hey, bitches, it's your boy, Trenton420, contributing editor for b b b b blog Today we saw three.
three new victims in what is being called Healygate 2019. Check out our website where we rank the fallen students by hotness. You'll never guess who's number one. Truly disgraceful. Members from the anti-Healy faction are demanding answers and a referendum on the new policy. Oh, and this just in, I'm getting word that the pro-Healy faction has received an endorsement from Columbia sex icon and dean of C's, Mary C. Boyce. You know that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> the Spectator will keep you updated as this story unfolds. Hello! Excuse me. Hello. Hi. Do you work here? Uh, no. <laughs> I just love the homey decor. <laughs> yes, I do. Wonderful. Well, my son, Jared, would love very much to attend Columbia University in the city of New York. Now, I was wondering if perhaps you might be able to tell me his chances of getting in. Oh, uh, well, actually, I'm not really qualified to give that sort of advice. Uh, maybe you should talk to Dean Marinaccio. I understand. Huh? It's just that Jared earned a 1540 on his SATs, and although he has a terminal asthma, <laughs> Papa, he did not ask. <laughs> he did not ask for extra time. Now, I have with me here uh, a... Oi, oi, hold on, oopsie, one second. Uh, <laughs> Hello? Jared! What's the matter? You made a smushy in your chinos? Oh. oh, Jared, honey, stop crying! Daddy's coming! Excuse me. Beats Mondays. Ack! I'm 21. That is so interesting. I'm Veronica Davenport and I'm 12. Oh, <laughs> did I say I am 12? <laughs> what I meant to say was I was 12 when I started my first nonprofit, 14 when I donated my first kidney, and just 15 when I became Kamala Harris's speechwriter. Wow. <laughs> At 15, all I learned was the alternate use of a shower nozzle. <laughs> well, I was 10. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it certainly seems like you're extremely qualified to go to this school. <laughs> I know. Columbia's my safety. But um, if for some crazy reason Harvard doesn't work out, I mean, this seems like a... Uh Fun place to spend my two years of college. <laughs> you mean four? <laughs> I know what I said. I hope to see you at Columbia. Hi, how can I help you today? Yes, hi. Two questions. First, how close are you with the Columbia rowing team? And second, how much would you be willing to risk for a former Full House cast member? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> Depends. Can you keep a secret? Dean Marinaccio, can you come out here for a sec? Lori Laughlin, how many times have we been over this? Hannah, if she ever comes back here, I've installed a red button under your desk. How has your day been, Hannah? Uh, fine, I guess. How was yours? Oh, I've mostly been in meetings. I'm sure you know how it is. Can't say that I do. Oh, Hannah, you're so random. <laughs> That's something you'd say, right? No. Well, I just had the greatest conversation with a prospective student. He came to his interview dressed as Homer. So passionate, I mean, uh, no pants, but so passionate. 
Uh, seems like a great candidate. Are you sure everything's all right? I know some of these families can be a lot. Am I using that right? The word a lot? Oh my God, you dumb slut. What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Was that too much? I've just been workshopping some new slang. <laughs> well, keep workshopping. <coughs> <coughs> and, uh, since you asked, it was kind of a tough day. Well, would you like to talk about it with your very best gal pal, Jesse M? Oh, maybe. <laughs> but uh, you should know, Dean Marinaccio, you're not my best friend. I, I just sort of work for you. I know that, you silly little <laughs> lion. <laughs> of every student at Columbia is my best friend. Literally every single student. Well, it can't literally be every student. From the day a nervous high school student walks into my office to the moment they graduate Columbia, every single one of them is my best friend. <laughs> Can you imagine having 6,000 best friends? Oh, sounds exhausting. <laughs> one is enough for me. Maybe more than enough. Well, I am sorry to see you in this state, Hannah. Uh, Honestly, could have been worse. This whole Healy's thing is sort of a hot mess. I, I was on the BMS earlier and saw three people roll into oncoming traffic. Were they all right? No. <laughs> well, that's not great. Um, Hannah, why don't you leave early? Uh, 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 Lee, oh my God, you made us mushy in your tinas. Oh my God, I have to take care of this. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow at work. <laughs> Coming! <coughs> I didn't know which size to bring, so I brought super. I know you have a heavy flow. What? No, 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 it's not that. It's worse. This is bad. This is really bad. Just breathe, girl. Breathe. You are strong. You are confident. You are not past your prime. What? Who's saying that I... Don't worry about it. <laughs> Now, what's got you in such a tiz? <laughs> One of my student workers just told me there have been three Healy-caused deaths. I hate to say it, but I think you know what this means. You need me to sing at their funerals. Anything for the students. Amazing. Jason, no. Oh, they were Jewish students. Viet Gadal, Viet Gadal, Shrey, Yaba. Jason, listen to me. This all students get Healy simulation was a bust. Grab the board and add it to the count. This was our 124th failed simulation. Jesus, 124? We've run so many of these Columbia simulations, I can barely remember why you started them in the first place. <laughs> well, I've been working here for 20 years, and, and every year it's been the same thing. I meet with so many Columbia hopefuls who are so excited to go to this school, and once they get here, they're miserable. So, so I decided to put the students in the Columbia simulation to identify what exactly causes their misery. It's hard to believe that in 124 simulations, not one of them worked. <laughs> I know, I know. It's just every time we've tried to make the Columbia students happy, it's been a failure. I tried to give them everything they wanted. We got rid of grades. They were miserable. We got rid of the core. Miserable. We made our changes progressively smaller, but that didn't work. Remember that simulation where we put the Milstein Center back under construction? <laughs> I really thought Healy's was going to be it. I was so naive. Maybe it's time to throw in the towel, hun. And speaking of towels, take this. You're very sweaty, and I can smell it from here. <laughs> so I know you're going to say no, but what if we told the students that their entire college experience has been a simulation? But we can't do that if we tell the students what we've done, if they know who we really All are. All right, so I guess it's time to wipe their memories. Whoa, whoa, Jason! Careful. We're not wiping their entire memory. Just anything having to do with the simulation. Healy's, Healy-related injuries, general Healy malaise. <laughs> but of course. You don't think I would want to get in the way of our mission? 
Well, of course not. You are the best regional admission officer I have, but one can never be too careful. Regardless, we need to get this next simulation sorted out. If Healy's caused this much strife, what could we possibly change to make the students happy? Well, Jessica, I have a couple of ideas. May I? <laughs> Hit it! <laughs> well, Jessica, welcome to Simulation 125. <laughs> Columbia students complain about how their classes keep them from sleeping. <laughs> but what if sleep was a class? <laughs> That's right, Jessica. In Simulation 125, sleep will be a required class. And to address concerns over the overwhelming whiteness of the core curriculum, all mattresses will be imported from Malaysia! Let's just have a look. Hello, fellow Columbia student. Would you like to go to Mel's Burger Bar with me? I can't. I have to do my homework. <laughs> this won't work, Jason. Let's fast forward to the end of the year. My sleep final is tomorrow and I completely bombed the midterm. I, I think I'm gonna have to pull an all-nighter. How much for 40 milligrams? Okay, this isn't working. <laughs> We need to think smaller. These changes make it too easy for the students to self-sabotage. Okay, um, ah, <laughs> I have just the thing. <laughs> Each fall, Barnard hosts one of the most fun events of the year, Big Sub. No one objects to Big Sub. So, what if we made a bigger sub? Boy, howdy. I sure do love this extra long sandwich. Me too, <laughs> but not half as much as I love Columbia. Okay, yeah, this, wait, no, more sandwich, more to fight over. <clears throat> Give me that turkey and cheese, you bastard. <clears throat> Fuck. <laughs> no way, you cuck. I'm gonna do to this sandwich what I did to your girlfriend. Steal it from your hands and eat her out. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't going to work, Jason. God, this is tiring. I need like a cup of coffee. <laughs> yes, you do. Your bags have never looked worse. <laughs> I have your order right here. <laughs> oh, thanks, Felicia. Am I using that right? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Wait. Is this regular milk? You know I can only handle oats. Oh, oh, Jessica, I, I am so sorry. Let, let me grab you another one. Wait, that's it. Oh, I know how I'm going to fix Columbia. I know simulation 125. Since simulation number one, I have tried to gauge. What is it about this school that fills these kids with rage? Every simulation failed and no were left disheartened. But I have something out of the box, or rather, the car. Jessica, what are you saying? Milk! In this simulation, we ban milk at Columbia. Are you high? God, milk, not here. Make that creamy white stuff disappear. We'll take away their milk. No more crying, no more spills. I'll go into divide. This one will leave them satisfied. So oh, let's ban milk. milk. Jessica, I think that this plan needs to 
evolve? What exactly do you think a milk ban would resolve? It won't make students happy, no, nah, nah, it won't make them unstressed. In fact, it won't do anything, cause it- Don't you get it? That's the point. Every time we've tried to make Columbia students happy, it's been an utter failure. Get it, utter? <laughs> Me. But seriously, Jason, for every campus crisis, milk has been there, sitting in the dining halls like an omnipresent evil. Hear me out. Can you think of any possible way that banning milk would make the students miserable and divide? I think she's fully crazy, but Jessica's the boss. Plus, if this is a flop, ha, my win will be her loss. One more failed attempt, and she will have to step down. Then wait till Jason Mogan, wait till Jason Mogan, Jason Mogan. Crown. All right, Jessica, I'm in. <laughs> Got milk, not here. Make that creamy white stuff disappear. We'll take away their milk. No more crying, no more spills. Although we do need by this one will leave them satisfied. So let's bear. Campus Hall would be legendary. When I'm the dean of admissions, not Jessica's dumb caddy, I'll make them call me dean and make Fresbo call me daddy. What was that? Nothing. I'm just utterly excited. <laughs> you. Gone milk, not here. No more crying, no more spills. So let's ban more than a plan because there was a lot of this bill. Chief, get her in the truck. Sounds good, my liege. Uh, say, do you know why they've taken away this milk anyhow? Or? Hey, what's the first rule of Columbia facilities? You, you don't, don't ask, ask questions. questions. <laughs> That's right. Let's get this show on the road. We gotta be a John Jay in five. milk ban. Uh, this what? So I was just in Ferris, catching up with Fausta, when I saw these two milk reapers taking away the milk machine. That's so weird. Are you guys talking about the milk ban? I, I don't know what to make of it. Uh, Izzy, what position should I take? Oh, I am personally against the ban. Like, you have to think about accessibility and food justice and bovine representation. Milk is so important, the administration doesn't know what this school needs. A hot take. What about you, Hannah? What do you think? Oh, I... A resident of the month must never take a political stance. They must remain unbiased in the wake of any possible controversy. Also, how can you take a position on milk? Uh, well, I 
think it's some um, sort of weird. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt your uh, lonely person <laughs> conversation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, no. It, we've been together since Ensop. I <laughs> would kill a man for you. I already have. Aww. Anyways, we've been having an issue all semester with this so-called romantic <laughs> poetry that Professor Gerwitz has been assigning. Yeah, it's just like so hard to hear what other poets have to say about love when they're so oh, wrong. wrong. So we took it upon ourselves to write the only real romantic poem. Can you guys give it a read? Here. <laughs> These look like sexually explicit hieroglyphs. <laughs> <laughs> Very observant. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> They're written in our own little secret <gasps> love language. Jason Drulo. Why don't we shed some light on the subject? <laughs> 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 class about yes uh it's about romantic poetry wrong what this class is about feeling so well, not being passive to the world around you so if you see a uh, light switch that's turned off turn it on no one cares who makes change in this world all that matters is that change is made now, am I communicating this idea? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, hello. I'm sorry. Could you tell me what time that clock over there has? Um, it says it's 10.13. 10.13? That can't be right. Class begins at 10.10. No. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm late. Oh. I understand. You're a freshman. No, I'm a junior. Oh, um, a visiting student. A transfer. No, no I'm here. No. So then you know where Hamilton Hall is and should have no trouble finding the building, which means there's no real justification for your tardiness, other than, of course, some sick sociopathic desire to waste our ever dwindling time on this earth. I'm sorry, Professor Gerwitz, it won't happen again. Take a seat. This class had a 55-person wait list. <laughs> Students were dying to get in, literally dying. One applicant gave himself meningitis to prove how much would be in my class. I told him, I don't take grad students. No, I don't tell you this to make you afraid. That's not my intention. I just want you all to know that you are in this class for a reason. That being said, no one cares about you. All right, I asked you to write three pages on Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. Could you please? Thank you. Now tear them apart. You heard me. Tear them apart. Uh, this class is about feeling. So take out a new sheet of paper and in five seconds, draw me fear. What's that? Okay, I don't even know what that says. I don't even think that was, I don't even know what that says. I don't even know what I just said. No. Cinco. No. Pass them up. I'm, listen. Go, go, go. I'm so sorry. Go, go. Thank you. See what we have? Gun. <laughs> Scared face. Oh. Not meeting your soulmate during NSOP. <gasps> Milk. Jesus, Henrietta Christ. <laughs> what is it with this goddamn milk? You think when I went to the school, our dining halls had milk? <laughs> Absolutely not! <laughs> we had rodents. <laughs> Live rodents. And we were handed weapons to murder the rodents. <laughs> you couldn't murder a rodent, you couldn't eat! <laughs> oh 
I have this buddy of mine, <laughs> vegetarian. Three weeks into college. Dead! Because he wouldn't eat the rodents. All right, who wants to start us off? Edgar Allan Poe, day one. Hmm? Please. Well, speaking as a student, and feel free to disagree. I thought about the reading, and this might just be me. I don't want to sound elitist, be rude, as true a pastor. This was one of the most poems we've read all semester. Well, that was a great impression of what a trash can that came to life would sound like. Now, does anyone have anything of substance to say? Please. Professor, I'm offended. You didn't even mention how Keats's queer erasure is filled with racial tension. There's so much problematic at this poem's core and center. Let's talk about poetry and white supremacism and justice and longer Ferris hours and socioeconomic status. And gender. Calm down, George. Tenor doesn't cover manslaughter. Man? Ah! We all just care so much about the things that we do. Making the most of our time here, fighting hustle through and through. We've got four years of stress culture, so we have to be vultures. Although I suppose your opinions belong. In one word, changed my life. It came tapping, rapping through my mind and ended all my strife. Felt fantastic terrors like I've never felt before. If you say stop reading Edgar, I'll quote never more. All right, kid, I don't need this TED talk. Let's calm down a bit. Now, does anyone have anything productive to say about this? Please. Well, piggybacking off of that, my life was also changed. I dropped a class, got off my ass, my world's been rearranged. And though you're mad that what I said was merely a summation, I have to talk because 15% class participation. Do you see that? That's my heart medication. We all just care so much about the things that we do. Making the most of our time, you're fighting hustle through and through. Culture, so we have to be vultures, although I suppose your opinions belong. In my humble opinion, you're wrong. You talk but say nothing. Did you even do the reading? With every like you know, and on my hairline's receding. Look, I don't know your name, but you still haven't spoke. Say something to my faith, and humankind isn't broken. Well, I'm just a bit confused by this tangent we've gone on. Everyone thinks they're the king, and this whole class is their pawn. Discussions at Columbia are just off-topic cacophony. But if we all tried not to lead, then it could be homophony. Uh, I took music up! No! Years of stress culture, so we have to be vultures. Although I suppose your opinion belongs. In my humble opinion, you're wrong. Hey guys, we need to chill. As an RA, I can sense when we need a moment of reflection. Danny, you're the best RA. Hey, why don't you shut up when I'm trying to bring us together, you pathetic excuse for a... <gasps> oh, neck cramp. Quick, someone call Kava! Danny! No! Let him feel he's feeling. 
Professor Gerwitz, it's just he's fully unconscious. I'm gonna call Kava. Are you there, Kava? It's me, Patrick. Pleasantly surprised. I love, I love you. you. Ah, mm. I love you. You are my rock. I love you. You are my truth. I love you. My reason to live. I love you. And without you, I would die. die? sure what that had to do with the milk ban, but uh, let's give it up one more time for the couple who's been together since End Stop. <laughs> Their joint memoir, Unstoppable, is available for download via PDF on CourseWord. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming to Isabella Morales Presents Postscript Presents. How does that milk you feel? A Danny DeWitt Memorial open mic. Uh Hey, so just to dispel some rumors I've been hearing, I'm not dead, it is just the next strain. Like my brave, brave friend just said. This draconian milk ban must come to an end. If you support the milk ban, you support fascism. But hey, this is a space for all voices, so feel free to reflect on the ban regardless of your stance. All right, next up, you've seen him around campus and at Stand Up New York. Put your hands together for Sam Serrano. Thank you, Izzy. And hey, Danny, I miss you more and more every day. Oh, once again, not dead. Man, Danny was the best. But you know what's the worst? Meatless Mondays! <laughs> you guys hear about this? So, do you still like the chorus? Because I, I really want people to get it. Yeah, they'll get it. It's great. Oh, and they'll love you as the backup, obviously. Obviously. John Jay? More like P.U. <laughs> oh, my God. We talked about this, Han. I sing, you stand behind me, play the triangle. People love that. They love to watch you sing. They couldn't give a rat's ass if oh, Isabella Morales' dumb little friend is whacking a metal stick. It is by definition not a stick. It is a triangle. And the song needs it. You know, I'll go up there and stand behind you. You know I'll do it. I'll whack the fuck up the thing as far as I can. No, you don't understand. I'm just making fun of Save it to your New York Times up there, okay? Yeah. Yeah. You guys are great, thank you. Hey everyone, is he again? Yes, please. Literally a goddess. Take my <laughs> organs. Thank you again so much for coming out tonight. I hope everyone feels that they've been able to reflect and celebrate the life of our friend and martyr, Danny Dewitt. It was just a neck strain. So following the success of my eight-part song cycle on the fungal infection in EC, oh. Oh. breaking the mold, 
I've decided to write another song of healing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Accompanying me on the triangle is none other than Hannah Levine. Who? <laughs> Hannah, can I get an E? <laughs> this one's for Danny. This is a school of brilliant minds Running around, we don't have the time For coffee And so we drink black coffee I know, it's a crazy big apple But at its core, this school is filled with so much more Like Junzi but I don't want Junzi. <laughs> Though on the outside we divide, we're all the same on the inside. So when milk is spilled and you wanna cry, just come to me, I'll be your guide. <laughs> you can milk me. When you're feeling low, milk me when there's no place to go. Milk me <laughs> when you're lost and you've lost that clue at Hex and Co. Milk me, just cry your milky tears and let them flow. show. <laughs> Please remember to keep milk <laughs> in your thoughts and Danny in your prayers. You don't need to do that. <laughs> I'm right here. saying people just need a creative outlet yep oh so I was just talking about the smoke band and I really <laughs> Izzy I've been watching you this whole time yeah I know and again, you are in the audience. No, no, no. I'm here from the National Residence Hall Honorary. I've been sent here to bestow upon you, Isabella Morales, the Event of the Month Award. Oh, cool. Thanks, Finnegan. <laughs> oh, and I have a second award here for a very special resident. Holy shit! <laughs> I have the great honor of presenting the March 2019 Resident of the Month Award to Izzy. Again. Cool, okay, thanks Finnegan. Um, we have to clean up, so I'll see you later. See ya. Congrats. What, oh, thanks. <laughs> Can you put these on the floor by my chair? Uh, yeah, on the floor. <laughs> Definitely the right place for the resident of the month award. Hannah, you okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm fine. Okay, well, I was thinking that this milk band is just like total shit. <sighs> Honestly, I think this is like the third time I've won this award. Oh. So, this milk band, total shit. Oh, we need to have like a rally or a demonstration tomorrow <gasps> on College Walk. Yeah. Hannah, are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. Are you sure? Because I'm fine. Look. I know we process things differently, but I really think we need to be proactive right now, not reactive. We need to be brave for Danny. 
Wait, you think I'm upset about Danny? Well, are you not? Because that would mean that you support the bin, which is just like... No, Izzy, you're not listening to what I'm saying. I, I'm not mad about the milk. I don't care about the milk, because it, it, it's just milk. <gasps> just milk? Are you... Are you actually serious right now? Because it's so much more than milk. It's about wellness and accessibility and, and all these invisible power structures that you don't ever seem to care about. OK, well, I may not care about those invisible power structures, but I have to deal with them a whole lot more than you do. What the hell are you talking about? When I am with you, no one sees me. I am literally invisible. That girl who tried to talk to you in JJ's the other day, did you notice that she sat in my lap? She thought it was a chair! I'm a chair when I'm with you. Look, sorry I didn't notice, but I'm out here, and I need to focus on the bigger picture, okay? I need to fight for the people on this campus whose voices aren't being heard. How would you know what those people want when the only voice you ever listened to was your own? I didn't mean that. No, I get it. You can't bring yourself to give two shits about literally anything. So you're taking it out on me. Yeah, well, best of luck single-handedly trying to solve all the world's problems. <laughs> Our fucking Lord and Savior. <laughs> oh, and by the way, milk me? How did you not piss up on that? Oh. <laughs> dear? Yep. You sure? Mm hmm You sure you sure? I'm fine. Just scrolling through my Venmo news feed. <laughs> Hannah, you don't have to walk on eggshells around me. What's really going on? It's just this freaking milk! Hey, language! Sorry. I just... I don't understand why everyone is so up in arms about the milk ban. Are people angry about the milk ban? I mean, some of them, but everyone just feels so strongly about it, and, and now everyone hates each other, and, and there's these factions. It's like something out of Lord of the Flies. Oh, I love that you're a reader. <laughs> but, oh, God, Hannah, um, here, why don't you leave early? Uh, oh, go buy yourself a uh, Mr. Softy and uh, keep the change. Oh, uh, am I still going to get paid for the full day? Don't get greedy. Okay. <laughs> Jason! Jason! Coming! It's happening! Oh, Jessica, you look awful. But you should know that this happens to all women of a certain age. You've just reached that time in your life. <laughs> I'll go throw away the tampons. No, 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 Jason, Jason. The milk. It's not working. We're ruined. Oh. So you're saying that the milk ban has turned out to be a complete and utter failure? <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far, but we're in trouble. This is worse than the one where we added Sophie to the Music Hum curriculum. Listen, Jessica, you know I'm your biggest fan. If you were planning the Fire Festival, I would just watch the documentary. But maybe it's time that this milk simulation has run its course. Maybe it's time to shut it down for good. I don't know if I'm ready to face those consequences. I'm at a loss, Jason. Milk was a bad choice. And milk not here. Students' anger did not disappear. We took away their milk. There was crying. There were spills. Just send it. Jason, we can't, but I do have to say that there's milk. 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 It all went so wrong. It sounded nice when we put it in song. That's true. Yes.
Colombian dining, the best in the town. Come digest cuisine that made us clean our shining crown. Unwind with friends at our really fun theme buffet. You might hate our playlist, but we're hipper than John Jay. In Ferris, the land of promise, where dining dreams come true. Like my darling sweetheart, Fausta, swiping me in with a tender loving, how are you? Columbia Dining, you be the judge. But if you think we suck, we don't give a flying fudge. Cause we're number one, now and forevermore. Been keeping it delicious since 1754. 1754. Well, I know what we're all thinking. It, it just isn't, isn't Purim, Purim without, without milk. <laughs> I mean, how are we supposed to celebrate Purim if we have nowhere to dunk our hamantashen? Uh, Izzy, I may be wrong, but I don't think dipping hamantaschen in milk is a Purim tradition. Oh my god, Danny, I did not even think about how hard it must be for you to eat. Here, let me cut your kreplach. Stop it, stop it, I'm fine. I have full control of my hands. Hey! Do you mind quieting down a bit? Yeah! It'd be great to get through one meal without having our ears polluted with your milk-loving hate speech. Oh, why don't you come and say that to my face? You know what? Maybe we will. Oh, that is it? Finnegan, hold my rings. No, 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 no. Sit down, sit down, sit down. It is Purim. We do not fight on Purim. <laughs> Hannah, God, it is good to see you. I saved you a seat over here. Thanks, but... I think I might just go sit downstairs in the neutral zone. <laughs> I want to grab another clogger. I got the chef Mike dressed as Heyman. <laughs> but I heard they have a limited edition Fausta as Esther Grogger. You don't want to eat with us? Oh, uh. No, she doesn't want to eat with us. She wants to run downstairs away from reality because apparently she's incapable of understanding that sometimes it's more important to care about real issues than petty bullshit. Izzy. <gasps> well, I don't know if she... Izzy, I, I'm sorry to eavesdrop, but I couldn't help but overhear that you and Hannah have uh, made the way of my parents. And I know it's none of my business, but if you're looking for a new best friend, here's my resume and cover letter. No, thank you. I, I really have to take some time to consider the type of people I want to surround myself with because it's certainly not the type of person who will just sit around and feel sorry for herself while one of her best friends suffers a life-altering injury. What are you talking about? Oh, Danny, you don't need to act tough. Oh. You can tell Hannah that she hurt you. Okay, Izzy, that's enough. Careful, you might collapse again. Izzy, I barely strained my neck. I am fine. It's a miracle. Stop it, just stop it. Stop what? Gah, you're impossible. You just care so much about this milk ban that you've completely ignored all the people around you. How can you say that? I've spent the last month fighting for Colombia, fighting for justice for what they did for you. No one did anything to me, except you, for making everyone treat me like some martyr. I'm not. You just always need someone to pity so people can know how good you are. You really think I'm that shallow? I'm going to go find Hannah. I need to go. These two have been placing get well soon cards in my lap this whole meal. Thoughts and prayers. May your memory be a blessing. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks
looks like your house of cards are finally starting to crumble. Why don't you just go back to wherever you No! We must settle this once and for all. College walk. Tomorrow at noon. Demonstration? Don't be late. Milk, the water of life. No. The tonic of our salvation. No. Suckle on my teat and imbibe the sweet bovine ambrosia. No. I can't, for my mouth hath been stuffed with the phallus of capitalism. capitalism. Boo. Come to me, my cardboard baby. In the arms of the milkman, far away from here. I have a dream. In this cold, dark milk room. MLK had a dream. In the endless but there's no I in MLK. <laughs> you are But if there was, of your silent it would spell milk. Milk. Harvey Milk. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy. Evening TV? I'll tell you. Socialism. I love you. 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 All the rest back. All right. Because we need to not be. This is what a milk band looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah! You people disgust me. Nothing but goddamn puppets. Big Milk's got their huge frothy hands shoved right up your asshole. I'm sorry, but what the fuck is Big Milk? Uh, you people only think of yourselves. We're standing up for the lactose intolerant. Well, we don't support any kind of intolerance at Columbia. Milk, milk, lemonade, we're throwing up a barricade. Yeah, 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 yeah! Look at what the milk band did to him. I mean, how can you just let him fight for the milk band? You monsters, you fucking monsters! This is nothing but propaganda. You're just a crisis actor sent in by Big Milk. What is Big Milk? Milk, milk, lemonade, we're throwing up a barricade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me with this? <gasps> the milk band broke your neck. And now, how could you all of a sudden be the pro band golden boy? Minor neck sprain, but doesn't matter. We don't need milk in the dining halls. I'm just helping the voiceless. Milk, milk, lemonade, we're throwing up a barricade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank God.
glad you're here. Oh, no, I'm not here for the protest. I'm just trying to get to the admissions office. It's not a protest. It's a demonstration. Okay. Everything is under control. Oh, oh, shit! Oh, oh, shit! Oh, 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 no! Oh, no! Oh, I can't! Oh. Milk, milk, lemonade, we're going up a barricade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is over. have exited simulation number 125 colon no milk <laughs> <laughs> relax that's all over now what relax no, I, I, uh, I, I, relax <laughs> the milk ban is over <laughs> <laughs> let me finish 
The milk ban is over because all of Colombia is over. How is that what? possible? We were just saying. Uh, how do I say this? Um, Colombia, as you know it, is over. We want what? it. Will we please, 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 please quiet down? <laughs> you act like this was my idea. Then whose was it? Mine. <laughs> Hiya. Uh, hey, so could you please explain what the fuck is going on? Hey, Rudy, not your moment. Um, sorry. Sorry, I, I forget you haven't been through 125 of these. Um, uh, your college experience has been a simulation. Oh, so oh, so so your college experience has been one in a series of simulations programmed to identify what exactly is at the root of Columbia's problems. Oh, um, I get it. You tried to make us divide. You wanted college to suck. That's why you put that white supremacist outside of Butler. Oh, yes. No, no, that was real. <laughs> Sorry. Admissions goofed it. Uh, okay, nice. so we're out of the simulation. What does that mean, and where are we? Well, aren't you a curious bunch? Uh, you are in a liminal space that exists both in and outside of time. A place that is your whole world when you're there, but quickly fades from your memory when it's gone. A place also known as the inside of Nussbaum and Woo! <gasps> We're inside Nuss? But it's closed! Oh, another question. Well, on the outside, it is Nuss, your disgraced, dilapidated neighborhood bagel store. But on the inside, it's its own contained universe. Well, how did we get here? How long have we been here? How do we get out? I didn't realize I was in the room with Socrates. <laughs> I know, I know you have a lot of questions. But for now, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll be happy to explain what happened, but first, just try to stay positive. <laughs> I've stayed up till five. <laughs> Rehearsed, went to class, sleep to prayer. I punched a girl for Ferris's Nutella, and I did a cappella. <laughs> So I don't know what it was all for. It was all for Columbia's a big Columbia's and a big expensive scam. Columbia was not a world, but it was just a lie. Here, so deeply when I didn't have to try. I see the world around everywhere and put it over the door. Wish there was a solution, but to be honest, what's the point? To be honest, what's the point? Hey, Jessica, what do we say to make all these kids and their issues go away? Hey, since there's nothing to do, so we'll have to start a new each simulation. What the fuck you were on? But I thought you blew your shot. I blew your shot. Columbia was my whole world, but it was just a lie. Cared so deeply when I didn't have to die. I steamrolled through on Addy when I could have rolled a joint. Wish there was a solution, but to be honest, what's the point? To be honest, what's the point? Be all right now we're in this place. 
right. Please, Hannah, understand this wasn't our intended plan. Look, I don't want to hear it. How lucky I was my whole world, but it was just a lie. Hair so deeply when I didn't have to try. I see more blue on Maddie when I put her all the joy. Wish there was a solution, but to be honest, what's the point? To be honest, what's the What's wrong with this school? No, no, you don't understand. We did this all so you could have the best possible college experience. We never wanted you to be so unhappy. And you thought banning milk was the answer? Milk was our last resort. We've had 125 failed simulations, but no matter what we did, you always found a way to make yourselves miserable. This doesn't add up. If you actually ran these other simulations, how come none of us remember them? Well, after each failed simulation, we wiped your memory. Ah! Ah! Hey! Not your whole memory! That's how you can still remember each other and Columbia. We just erased anything related to that particular simulation. Well, that's impossible. As an RA, I have an encyclopedic knowledge of all goings on at Columbia. Jason, can you play the tape? Sure. This is a clip from simulation 119. We turned the learner party space into the learner pool party space. All right, Carmen 10, who's ready to go swimming? Please, Danny, I can't swim. Hey, come here for a sec. Ah! Oh, well, what are you gonna do now? Just wipe our minds and throw us into another one? I don't think you understand. Simulation 125 was our last attempt. It's all over. If you'd like to chat more, though, you can join me and Jason in my office. I asked the stress busters to come and give massages, but they've been smashing their heads into the ground because they think their hands aren't real. My RA senses are telling me we need to process this. I'm gonna go set up a study break in the Carmen Lounge. Did you not hear any of that? There is no Carmen Lounge. There's no Columbia. Jesus, you two! How are you still so giddy? Because we've been in love since ENSOP. But there is no ENSOP! But we still fell in love, didn't we? We're gonna go find a place to build our starter home. See you later, loveless losers. Bat! <laughs> Wow. I can't believe I spent four years pretending to like Mel's. <laughs> Same dude, let's go tell that Mary Nachi what the fuck is up. Well, at least I didn't have to turn in that problem set. <laughs> Read the room, neck boy. I knew the Hewitt Jazz Brunch was too good to be true. <laughs> what do we do? What? Why would I know? Because you're Isabella Morales. You always have a plan. <laughs> Why aren't you getting this, Hannah? Sure, I always had a plan at Columbia. But that was when there was a Columbia. None of it mattered. First Easy, then Columbia, and now Marinaggio. I thought we had a connection, a solid bond, but no, I've been puppeted. Everyone's pulling me up and down. Just call me Robert Kraft Cause I've been jerked around Always been a sidekick And now I'm all alone Will I ever stand On a ground that's my own Sick of being yanked Second rate. I'm just 
Columbia's Pinocchio, but no part of me has grown. I tried so hard to make a difference, make my mark, make people feel, but when I come to think of it like did my songs even heal? I gave my clubs and work my all, but to my friends I shut the door. And it was just a simulation. So what was it even for? Always had my crowd, and now I'm all alone. Columbia's Pinocchio, but no part of me has grown. I just feel so hopeless. Eat meals in Ferris booth. Someone to punch my arm when they see a Canada goose. But now it's all over. There's no going back. I wish I could hit refresh. All my life could get back on track. Always home. Right. Who's ready for the study break? No one? Okay. <sighs> Hannah, you came. <laughs> yeah. I uh, had 410, but it was canceled. Well, it's 402. And I explicitly said in the group me that the study break from our existential dread was going to start at 4. <laughs> you know, so I wonder where everyone is. Uh, I'm, I'm sure they're on their way. But I did run into one of your residents. Um, I think I heard them say they weren't coming because they're afraid of you. Well, that's <laughs> fucking childish! <laughs> How could anyone be afraid of someone who gives out free chips and condoms? Yeah. You have those? Well, I sort of had to improvise. Yeah. I couldn't find chips, but I found this everything bagel. Huh. You know, on second thought, it's mold. Oh, yeah, maybe put that back. Yeah. Uh, do you need any more help? Uh, no, all good. Hey, thanks for showing up. Ah, of course. <laughs> That's what friends are for. Huh? Nothing, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, uh, where? <laughs> um, you're for your study break. <laughs> here for your <laughs> study break. Uh, well, uh, welcome. We have arts and crafts and... and break! <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You just got 
pranked. Who are you? The Bacchanal Committee! <laughs> <laughs> This, this prank! prank! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what is the prank? You thought we were coming to your study break! Uh-huh. You should see the look on your face right now. <laughs> Man, someone needs to teach the Bacchanal Committee what a prank is. I know. I mean, earlier this year, the one in pink broke into my room, shaved my head, yelled, pranked, and then ran out with my Mario Badescu cleanser. <laughs> nice. Man, Columbia students are crazy. <laughs> it was low. It was St. Paul. Are you blind? It was definitely low. Uh, hey, sorry to interrupt, but what are you two arguing about? All right. Uh, which building back at Columbia looked more like a boob? Was it Lowe? Or was it St. Paul's? You are truly wrong. St. Paul's literally has a nipple on top of it. That's a cross. Smug prick. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, <laughs> hey, break it up, you two. Why don't you go play with the others? Jeez, what were they even fighting about? Who knows? It's always something with those two. <sighs> What's a four-syllable word that rhymes with eternity? Maternity. <laughs> wow, I can't wait to finally have intercourse. Uh, hey, it's... Wait, I don't think I actually know your names. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot you don't communicate telepathically like we do. <laughs> We've shed our individual identities and are legally named the couple who's been together since NSOP. Call me by your name. The couple who's been together since NSOP. Well, are you here for the study break? Uh, no, we were actually just testing out our new late night sketch. Yeah, I scream for three solid minutes while he offers the audience half-eaten bits of summer sausage. Genius. <laughs> you want to see it? Ooh, ah! hard no. Oh. Oh. No matter. In that case, would you like to see the opening number of a new musical we've been working on? <laughs> if it'll get you to stop talking to me, sure. Beautiful. Boy whose mom said he would die a virgin. Girl from Scottsdale locked in a freezer, so she forgot and stopped and at Columbia by Providence. I rescued her. He thought me, and, and then, then we, we fell, fell in, in love. love. I see. Wait, wait. <laughs> so you just wrote a Hamilton parody? What are you talking about? This is an original musical. <laughs> okay, can I hear the chorus? Gladly you may hear the chorus. For you I learned the mandolin. Oh, oh! For you I learned the mandolin. Huh. Okay, so it's Hamilton. Literally, what are you saying? <laughs> I don't know. Ha Ham Hamilton? I, I don't know. <laughs> this is an original musical, and it's named after the academic building that was adjacent to our freshman year dorm. <gasps> Journalism! <laughs> Well, this is an RA-sponsored study break. If you're not going to play with the others, I suggest you leave. Gladly. Yeah, we have to go write the rest of our original musical anyway. 525,600 kisses. God, where do they find these people? I mean, it honestly doesn't even feel like we've left Columbia. Like, the campus is gone, but it still feels like Columbia. Hey, Hannah, hold that thought for a sec. Uh, we may need to get out of here. I think the Bacchanal Committee is planning their next prank. Oh, oh we need to go. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, students, where are you? Come to mama. Jessica, we've been at this for hours. I don't think leaving a trail of surf and turf sunglasses is going to bring the students back to us. How can you say that? It's surf, turf, and earth. Okay, well, regardless, I don't think the students are coming back. This place is so big, they could have run off anywhere. Come on, Jason. Don't lose hope. Uh, maybe I just need to try a different approach. Free Shake Shack! Maybe try something Columbia students actually want. Okay. Um, free Prozac! <laughs> um... I'm still undecided on BDS! Jessica, I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told you when you got bangs. You tried. Look, I know you wanna bring the students back together, but it's not gonna happen. I know, I know, it's just, I failed. I failed, I'm a failure, an utter failure. Get it, utter, <laughs> me. Don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> This wasn't your fault. Well, it was, but it, but it wasn't your idea. <laughs> you know what? I'm done. What? I'm sorry, Jason. I can't take it anymore. I'm stepping down as dean of admissions. What? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't have what it takes. Well, you're certainly leaving big shoes to fill. But time goes on. Have you thought of your replacement? Well, no, I just decided I was leaving. But seeing as you're the only person I can find right now, would you like to be Yes! Oh, yes, of course I will. I will take over and I will fix this catastrophe. <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> this is actually happening. Hey, just like we practiced. <laughs> From the time I was a little boy, Papa said that I was strange. Mama said. Jason, what? Um, nothing. I was, um, I'm just so excited to finally be Dean of Admissions. It's been my dream ever since I started working for Columbia four years ago. Well, don't get too excited. It, it's just a job after all. I suppose, but it, it's... I certainly hope this wasn't actually your dream. That would be, well, that would just be sad. No, yeah, sure, I was, um, I was just being hyperbolic. <laughs> You'll make a great dean, though I guess that means Columbia has to come back into existence. I'm gonna go pack up my office, but, uh, thanks, Felicia, for everything. <laughs> my pleasure. That admissions guy, Dean Marinaccio's little accomplice. Jason? And, and I wouldn't say accomplice more. Well, it's a fucking honor. Can't believe I get to be the one to talk to the person who tried to make us believe that everything we did for four years mattered when in reality it was all for shit. Oh, and I should extend a personal congratulations because I fell for it more than anyone else. Is he? How do you know my name? You're Isabella Morales. I'm obsessed with your Insta. <laughs> Thanks. Just feel so stupid. 
I wrecked all my friendships because I thought I had to have a successful college career. I know the feeling. Look, Jackson, Jason? I don't think I don't think you could possibly understand what it means to be a student here. Columbia has this unique ability to make you think that you always have to be doing. That to do college right, you always have to give something up. Could you help me pick these up? Look, I know what it's like to go through four years of college only to realize that it's utterly meaningless. Look, I don't really want to hear it from the guy who's literally the reason my entire college existence was a lie. I get that. I've been so focused on becoming Dean of Admissions, I forgot why I came to Columbia in the first place. To give students a better experience than I had. What do you mean, than you had? Izzy, I went to Columbia. CC class of 2012. <laughs> and I wasn't too different from you. I was young, hot, and I wouldn't let anyone get in my way. When I was a sophomore, I ran for CCSC. Jason Mogan for class rep, killing Osama and insomnia. Well, uh, did you win? Oh, um, I did, but that victory came at a cost. I barely slept, I, I ignored my friends, I, I treated everyone, myself included, like, like shit. Well, would you really have just been okay sitting around doing nothing your whole time at Columbia? Well, no, but I thought that CCSC was the key to a successful college career. Uh, but once I graduated, poof! None of that mattered. It, it turns out no one outside of Columbia cares about CCSC. <laughs> or lit hum. Or, or, or housing. Jeez, the things I had to do to get into Ruggles. What? Don't worry about it. I guess the only thing that stays with you after college, besides herpes, <laughs> are the people you meet. And if you don't prioritize people during college, you're not going to do it after. I constantly belittled my boss because I wanted her job, and, and now I have it. But it doesn't matter. I played myself. Well, for what it's worth, I think you'd make a great dean of admissions. Really? Would you mind posting that on your Insta? Maybe tag Columbia Admissions. No, thanks. <laughs> worth a shot. Okay. But seriously, thank you, though. If you don't mind, I think I'm going to bounce. I have someone I need to find. <laughs> huh. Guess I really did make a difference. <laughs> All right. Reprise! <laughs> From the time I was a little boy Papa said that I was strange Mama said I'm sorry, did you say something? I, um... No, I was, um, leaving. Titterich, aren't we a pair? Me here at last on the ground, you in me dear, sending the clouds. Dean Marinaccio. Marinaccio. The clouds. Jessica! And I didn't think I'd be seeing you here. Are you kidding me? Excuse me? Why didn't you tell me? I showed up to your stupid office every week and talked to those stupid people who were stupid and tried to sell them on this stupid school and you didn't even have the decency to tell me that the stupid school I stupidly tried to sell those stupid people on isn't even real. Now tell me how you really feel. Oh, I'm serious. My whole life is a lie because of you. 
Anna, get off the floor. There's still poppy seeds and, well, I hope that's lock spread. I'm sorry. Okay, I I'm sorry. I just wanted to give Columbia students the best four years of their lives. Yeah, but why you? All you care about is getting people into Columbia. Once we're here, you don't give a shit. But, uh, I take issue with that, Hannah. I know I don't spend as much time with current students. Okay, I know I'm not cool mom Kristen Crom, but... <laughs> but I do care because I'm the one who meets you all before you start, when you're the most excited and the most hopeful about your Columbia experience, and it just breaks my heart to see how quickly you all come to hate it here. I know that no matter how many resources the administration gives you, Columbia students will always have a problem with something. <laughs> yeah, well, apparently we'll still have those problems even when Columbia doesn't exist. Beg pardon? <laughs> uh, I was at this thing earlier and even though we're in this, this, people were still acting the same way they do at Columbia. Like, there were these two guys who were fighting about which building back at Columbia looked most like a boob. That's I stupid. It's obviously St. Paul's. It even has, has a, a nipple. nipple. Right. <laughs> and the Bacchanal committee was still pranking people. And the couple who's been together since NSAP was still annoying the hell out of us. Hannah, you're absolutely right. No, deep. Wait, what? The goal of this whole Columbia simulation was to make Columbia students happier, but I completely lost sight of something. Something you saw. No matter what we do, Columbia students will always be a little bit miserable. But you're right. They'll also debate each other and join clubs and fall in love. They'll love it or they'll hate it, but either way, they'll make it their own. <coughs> What, what are you doing? I'm packing up. I resigned earlier today. You can't, you can't just go. You have to fix this. You have to fix the school. Hannah, I can't. I'm tired and I've tried it all. Plus, I already have my next gig lined up. I'm opening a restaurant that specializes in preserved fruits and live Spanish music. Marinaccios, maraschinos, and mariachi. <laughs> Dean, I'm not sure. You can't just go. <coughs> Hannah, I'm not Dean anymore. Now you can just call me Jessica Marinaccio, former Dean of Undergraduate Admissions. <laughs> well, then who's going to fix this? Well, who's going to get us out of this mess? Well, how about you? You clearly care about the school and the people here. Me? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, why not? Hannah, you have made it clear you're sick of being fooled. But you have also realized the way to fix this school. Columbia's the people, it's not the buildings or the land. So make the students reunite and Columbia still stands. Uh, uh, oh my God! Don't wait around, it's so hard to see. You're the one who can unite this university. You can be the one to make the change. But you can't wait for a cue. So get up, save this school, cause the one who makes the choice to lead is you. Listen, you don't understand, they don't care what I say. I'm not some founding father, it's not like I'm John Jay. I'm not some female icon, not Deborah Spar. No, I'm not a mother. They don't care who you are. Because what they need, what they need is Hannah Levine. Change. 
change, a change that's long overdue. So hold on, Columbia, cause the one who's gonna save the day is me. I was so short-sighted, you know. I thought college was about doing and caring, and then when those things were done, I'd make time for the people around me. But, you know, time's up. Oh, Izzy, please don't say that. Come here. Uh, just wish we could start over. You know, make time for the people around us and forget about all that arbitrary shit. Izzy, we still can. If you think about it, we never actually left Columbia. What are you talking about? No, it's exactly what you were saying. We don't need Butler or Milbank or Shapiro to have Columbia. You wanted a college experience where you prioritize people, but don't you see? Columbia is the people. The rest is just decoration. Okay, but what's your solution? Well, I'm not quite sure, but for this to work, we need everyone here, or at least nine people who can serve as a stand-in for the entire student body. I guess I could go on Instagram Live and say something. Ah, I doubt anyone's listening, though. Hey, guys, it's Izzy. I just wanted to say that... Oh, my God, Izzy, what's wrong? <laughs> we came as soon as we heard. Did you need my organs? Please take them. Just take them. No, no, Izzy, Please. stop doing that. <laughs> so what did you need? Do you have a plan to save us? I don't. But I think Hannah does. Who? Well... Okay, so. Everyone at Columbia is devastated because the Columbia we grew to love or hate or just feel strongly about was a simulation, but think about it. What made you have all those feelings? Was it actually reading Aristotle? Or was it the kid with the wire-rimmed glasses who said, well, applying a Nietzschean framework? <laughs> was it Surf and turf and earth? Or was it the sexual awakening you had while watching Chef Mike decapitate a lobster while staring you dead in the eyes? <laughs> uh. Don't you get it? Columbia isn't gone because we are still here. We are Columbia. That was sweet. But what are we going to do? Uh, I'm not really so sure about that part just yet. <laughs> no, mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> Too slow. Hi -ya! Hi -ya! Listen to Hannah. <laughs> I'm about to get to second. Wait, mm. stop it. No, wait. These two idiots might be onto something. We have everything we need right here. Rooms? No. Well, yes, but no. <laughs> yes. It, it's like I was saying. We are Columbia, and no matter where we are, that fact doesn't change. We could go to college here. In this bagel store universe? Yes. <laughs> and, and we could still do all the same things we did at Columbia. Uh, be in the same clubs, take the same classes. Then it would just be meaningless. <laughs> then, then make meaning. You get to decide what's important to you. Look, it, it'll basically be the same, just with some perspective. We know there's so much outside of Columbia, but why can't we make the most of it when we're here? And... If it'll help, we can add some Columbia decoration. What are we gonna do after we graduate? <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> we'll rebuild our Columbia just using what we've got. Because the school's a simulation, <laughs> but the people here are not. We'll turn this room and this old apron into Columbia's flag. We'll use this bagel 
for the crown on top, almost the same as what we had. We don't need to have the butler freeze or the steps that lead to low, cause we are barn, our CCG, SEs, doesn't matter where else we go. Just try it. Anyone? I'll use his head of lettuce to replace the butler lawns. And this lawn at Columbia, we can actually sit on. We use these white gloves for the fencing team. Columbia's only chance. Let's ask this microwave, cause it makes no sense. Just like the learner ants, I can start to see it. Just like the nipple on St. Paul's. We don't need to have the butler freeze or the steps that lead to low. Cause we are Barner, CCG, SCs, doesn't matter where else we go. Danny, hey, I'm really sorry about the whole neck thing. I didn't mean to make you into some sort of milk martyr. It's okay, it actually sort of turned out well. I didn't even have to take midterms, because my professor thought I was dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, too. I think we could both stand to listen more often. Danny! 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 Rudy, are you an excellent resident whom I admire and respect? Aw, oh, thanks! And Danny, now that you're nice, and I'm no longer afraid of you, go fuck yourself. That's fair. It was just a next train. But I still like thoughts and prayers. We don't need to have the butler freeze or the steps that lead to low. Cause we are farmers, CCG, SCs, doesn't matter where else we go. Wait, wait, wait. Sure, students are the heart of Columbia, but we can't have a school that's just students. I think I can help with that. Jason Morgan? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> what are you doing here? I heard you're in need of some adults. I thought I'd lend a helping hand. <laughs> what are you talking about? Your professors, of course. I can set them free. Set them free? Why, of course. We've kept them in another room and heavily sedated. <laughs> so they don't exactly know that they're in a simulation, <laughs> I mean. You all shit yourselves after learning that four years of college have been a lie. These people have been here their entire lives. <laughs> I think Gulati would literally bleed out. Uh, you would do that? Of course, on one condition. You probably still need a dean of admissions, right? I'm not sure if that's within okay, our jurisdiction. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> and make Jessica proud. Your own admissions. Consider your priorities. We don't need to have the butt, the freeze, or the steps that lead to low. Cause we are farmers, CCG, SAs, doesn't matter where else we go. Uh, hey, beep. Yeah, beep. Hey, beep. Yeah, beep. Uh, seeing all the stuff that's been going on this week, I, I feel like I gotta come clean. There's something I gotta tell you. What is it, babe? Uh, I'm gay! No freaking way. Me too. <gasps> I, I, love love you. You. I love you! 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 Izzy? Oh, I guess you better go tend to your fans. Oh, Hannah. I don't think they want to talk to me. Handle it, Pete, more like handle it, Queen! I got it, just I can't. Please take my organs, I don't want them in my body! Okay. Hannah, what you did was incredible. I'm here from the National Residence Hall Honorary, and we would like to give you an award. <laughs> Hannah Levine, I am pleased to announce that you are resident... Of the month! No. Of the semester. <gasps> Hannah! Hannah! Wake up! Wake up! the test, Hannah. This simulation was itself just a simulation. We're actually in the trunk of Presbo's Audi. I'm just fucking with you. I forgot my bag on the way out, and when I came back to get it, I saw you bringing everyone together. I knew you could do it, Hannah. 
<laughs> Jason, best of luck. I know you'll do a great job. Jessica, I'm... <laughs> Here, Jason, take this. I know you have a heavy flow. Anyone can make a difference. Anyone can be immersed. Give your all to what you care about. But it's the people who come first. And don't undermine superiors, because they might know more than you. And learn from all your failures. Don't be afraid to start anew. There's no predestination. So build the school you wish to see. We don't need to have the butler freeze or the stuff that leads to low. Cause we are Barner CCG. Nuss bomb?